soft snow, sharp rock. These are just some of the reasons you might want ankle gaiters, but there are few available for kids. Here's how I converted an adult ankle gaiter into a kid's gaiter. Hello again, everyone. I'm Jason. Lots of trail runners use ankle gaiters. Sharp rocks, mud, and pebbles making their way into your shoes are just a few reasons why. But springtime in the mountains can create another reason. Post holing. That oh so fun process of stepping into a patch of snow that holds your weight at first, only to give way, sending you into an ankle, knee, or even waist deep hole. When confronting a combination of dry and snow covered trail, we need a solution. Both ourselves and our kids need a way to keep the snow out of our shoes and boots when the awkward and somewhat inevitable post holing happens. There is one ankle gaiter I could find that was advertised explicitly for kids. It's made by Outdoor Research. I've used OR equipment for years and they make quality stuff. But here was the problem. The strap that wraps below and around the boot or shoe sole. It's wide, for a reason, of course, to stand up to abrasion, but kids' hiking shoes often have very small braking ledges on the heel. That makes the wide strap hit the ground at each step. This not only shortens the life of the strap, but also makes a tripping hazard. Also, it is fully sewn on, so when it wears down, I'm going to need to make a major modification to get the gaiter to function again. So I ended up modifying a set of Innovate All-Terrain Gaiters. Here's how. I bought a size small, which is listed as EU size 35.5 to 39.5, or US size 4 to 7 in men's. But being big for the boys EU 31, or US kids size 13 feet, was a good thing, as I wanted them to go further up my boys' legs, so long as they were tight enough around both the shoe and shin. Innovate gaiters are designed with a four-foot clip, like most gaiters, but also with two side clips. This is designed to integrate with their shoes, which have clip points below the ankle. Well, I use those side clips as anchor points for an underfoot elastic cord. I tied the cord with an overhand on a bite and attached it to one ankle clip. I then measured underneath the shoe, making sure I had to pull the elastic some, but not too much, and tied a second overhand on a bite. Of course, I then cut the excess cord. I found that three millimeter or one eighth inch cord was perfect in two ways. It tucked up nicely against the heel brake of my kid's shoes without protruding below or beyond into the arch. And it also was a tight but manageable fit around the clip points on the gaiter. After taking them out through more drifting snow, they did a great job keeping the snow out of their shoes. So no melting and then getting socks drenched and feet Cold. They also stood up very well to the abuse because the well-sized strap wasn't getting stepped on at each step. Further, even when the elastic strap does eventually break, and I'm sure it will, I can get 25 feet of cord for just over $10 US. In other words, I can cheaply replace the most vulnerable element of the gator without having to replace the whole gator. From a functional perspective, the top of the gator is basically like a sweatband, so it did a good job of holding up the gator without being irritating or sliding down. A few of the cons though. First is that the gator is only water resistant, not waterproof. That's enough for the occasional step through snow or hiking on mud, but probably not good for full on winter conditions. Also, the gator lacks a zipper or Velcro entrance in the front. That means one less fail point, but also means that you need to take your shoe off whenever you wanna take the gator off or put it on. That being said, my boys put on their gaiters completely by themselves the first time they ever use them. Finally, this only works if your kid's shoe or boot has a braking wedge on the heel. It won't work on flat soled shoes. So there's a not quite DIY, but certainly home engineered solution for my kids' springtime hiking needs, and which can also be used on gravelly or muddy trails throughout the year. That's the end of this video. Please hit that like button to help us get this video out to more viewers. Please ring that bell and subscribe. And you can check out our website at shortguysbetaworks.com to find gear lists, all of our videos, 
and additional thoughts and information. Do you have any home engineered solutions to either your own or your kids' outdoor gear needs? Tell us about it in the comments. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.